first welcoming? No. <laughs> Good guess, but no. Maybe another time. Soon, to a teamwork near you. <laughs> I'm just gonna say no. You know how much time you put into... No. The current counts 300 hours. Now we're here for something much, much worse. Now, really quick, what do we need to do? We need to play the whole game without skipping a cutscene. I'm not sure what counts as a cutscene, so we're not skipping anything. We need to try to sign the contract with the quill pen. And finally, you missed it. Never turn the goddamn stereo off the whole game. And then? Dan gets a platinum. Only there is... There was this. That was not fun. That was fun. That was the best damn trophy of the game I don't know what you're talking about. There is the one small matter of the wrench. All logic would point to the Dan playing the game. One, I like my red controller, and two, the red controller's dying. I will be playing the game! This will be our combined fourth playthrough of this game? Yeah, I played part of it once. And if I said that means I should remember a couple of things. You cannot skip the opening cutscene either! This stuff you can skip. But once you hit new game, you cannot skip anything. Well, I can't skip the floppy disk. Eh, it's a standard save Come. icon. I know, and no one will ever know what it means in a few years. Considering I had to bring five inch floppies, otherwise... Oh, I'd never seen one, one of the big ones. I wish I could get an eight inch. I haven't even touched an eight inch in my life. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 I touch a five inch daily. You're never gonna see that again. Set the controller down. So you don't skip anything by mistake. If I see you skip something, I will punch you so hard. Because these are all those damn trophies that you have to go through the whole game to get. I mean, the quill pen is kind of late, too. I don't think you should drink that. I'm thirsty too. <laughs> it looks bad for you. That was actually Long topic sense. conversation. With radio it makes me today. feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. How thirsty all three of us were. I feel like yeah. I could. Like I could. And how our college plans didn't work out the way we thought they would. <laughs> What? You're surrounded by like girls. Yeah, my plan was like sex with all of them, too. You could just ask. I'd probably say no, but you could I ask. Say no. Take on the world. A plus writing. Should we do this with the developer commentary on? No. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we can bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. This poor hamster. It's not my old it friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into so an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going game. to kill Bernard them both. Is. No, he's not. Your main character's name is Dave. But he's one of the side characters you can pick on the I screen. I saw his face Dr. and his Fred name and yesterday when you playing the game. Forever. But now, I know that I must go back I will open the, the Maniac Mansion console when we get to that part of the game and show you. 
and you can actually get to the main area and you can hunt this and you get the game as well. Now we'll do that off teamwork. Between episodes. So what possessed Tim Schafer to make a sequel to Maniac Mansion? What possesses Tim Schafer to do anything? I don't know if we had the fucking developer commentary on, we might be able to find out. I don't think we'll never, think he even knows the answer. Uh, he just had a really cool idea. It is a cool idea. It's a, it's a pretty DOS game, too. We'll put it in DOS mode. It'd still be pretty. I'm not gonna put it in DOS mode. DOS mode doesn't bring the thing up, it just puts the graphics on. If we're playing remastered, we're gonna play it in the remastered. Okay, at least show what it used to look okay, like. Okay, what's the button? Touchpad. Push it in. I know it's like towards the end of the genre, right? Spread out, commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. What the fuck well, is this I'll game? I'll show the up later. If I'm late, I don't get a test for drums. If I know Dr. Fred, oh, by the way, he's got the tentacles the tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Yeah. Purple tentacle is Seamus. Hoagie's got that yeah. part of the house. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Would you stop? And three just like it at home. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. Are you sure this wasn't the best trophy? It's permanently attached to the countertop. Trophies, you gotta let me do it. 
Laverne's covering that territory. This is all too bad. easy. Oh, damn. Still not the best way. But in a better. No. I spy right now. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little mothers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping Labrat! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk milkshake? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogon. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are always talking about. That explains a lot, actually. What did it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. 
I will. As soon as I get a new diamond, then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and plug them in. Where is Pokey going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with the tales, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? Go straight upstairs. I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save worlds.